So what you're looking at is a MacBook Air 2013 model, i7 processor and 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of solid state drive. So the bitter point of a MacBook Air is it just has two USB 3.0 ports like all the MacBooks and one and only one display port. Thunderbolt display port. So this is 2013 model by the way. So Apple supports officially supports a um, couple of Thunderbolt displays. So you can daisy chain Thunderbolt displays and uh, plug your MacBook Air to a couple of uh, actual monitors but uh, that's going to cost you quite a fortune to buy Thunderbolt displays as we all no, so I'm going to try the iClever USB 3.0 Universal Dock. So the dock is very well featured with a lot of ports. If you look at the two blue ports there, USB 3.0 and four USB 2.0 ports, HDMI cable, uh, HDMI port for one of your displays and then a DVI port for another display, LAN port, an Ethernet port for your LAN internet and uh, this the USB 3.0 port that goes in from your MacBook Air so let's go ahead and check check it out so I have two different ports here I mean two different monitors here a Dell ultra sharp uh, 24 inch and then a normal S series S2415 Dell uh, monitor so one monitor is uh, plugged by DVA cable and the other monitor uses an HDMI. So both those monitors go to the docking station. So let's look at the docking station real quick. You see a whole bunch of mess, uh, a lot of cables. So a DVI cable and HDMI cable uh, from each of the monitors and then um, a couple of USB 3.0 hard disk drives and for a couple of other normal um, regular hard disk drives and uh, the, the cable from the monitor that that uh, the ultra sharps have USB ports so I plug my keyboard mouse to the monitor directly and the cable from the monitor goes to the US, uh, the docking station as well. So before you even st start, uh, the first thing you should be doing if you get this dock is go to this link website and, uh, and download the latest drivers. That's a, that's a must. You should have the drivers installed, be it a Mac or Windows. Uh, computer. I tried this with Safari uh, Surface Pro 3 and then this MacBook Air. I tried with another desktop machine uh, that's sitting there. So, so first get the drivers loaded onto your machine, the latest ones, and uh, then you're ready to plug the USB 3.0 cable from the dock to your Max 3.0 port. By the way, my I have tried this with, uh, out of curiosity, I tried this with USB 2.0 on my desktop and it works great. So first let us let us take a look at uh, the MacBook Air driving the two displays. So I plugged it in and the monitors came right up. So if you look here, I'm going to show you the performance because um, a lag is always possible with uh, when you're saturating a USB 3.0 port one USB 3.0 port from MacBook Air to drive a lot of activity uh, a LAN cable, Ethernet, two displays and then several different USB devices as you see here these are all um, tr uh, different hard disks that are plugged in by way of, do of the docking station um, and there is there can be some flicker sometimes but um, but the performance is definitely acceptable I have um, this 
Dell, Dell monitor uh, with built-in speakers that I use. Those for watching video, the video plays just fine, no flicker, and the, it, currently it's using the internet from the ethernet cable that's plugged in. I turned the wireless off, so Udemy site seems to be having a, uh, some network issues, so internet works great. Um, I wanted to show some video. So this is uh... Hi, welcome to the complete iOS 9 developer course. My name's Rob and I'm the creator of the world's most popular coding courses with over 200,000 students and 10,000 five star reviews. My iOS 8 course is so your first you... Hello World app. Then, so as you have seen, the video works just fine. I overload my MacBook Air with a lot of aperture files um, loaded onto an external solid state drive, uh, a terabyte solid state drive to edit um, images and consolidate libraries and it, it does perform great the MacBook Air driving these two displays and a lot of uh, CPU usage on uh, because of aperture. Aperture is a CPU hog. It hogs all the resources and then a lot of 8 gigs of RAM serves pretty well. So there you have it. The iClever USB 3.0 dock I bought on Amazon. I spent about $78. Uh, if you're lucky you can get it for much cheaper. So I tried this dock with MacBook Air, Surface Pro 3, an older desktop with USB 3.0. It handled all of them just fine. So, so again, make sure you get the drivers in place first and uh, and there you have it. So till the next video, this is Kieran from iLikeMyPhone.com and uh, have a nice day.